Hello coolers, welcome back to another episode of Viva Barca, the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on some interesting updates. We are going to start with Manchester City midfielder Bernardo Silva as he continued to be strongly linked with FC Barcelona. A recent report is now claiming that the Manchester City midfielder dreams of signing for Barcelona. We are going to be looking at that. Then secondly, talking about Pablo Torre that will be coming to Barcelona next season. Of course, it has been reported that Pablo Torre has revealed a chat that he had with manager Xavi Hernandez before signing with Barcelona and he also said Real Madrid had offered him more money prior to Barcelona coming in. We are also going to be discussing on what he had to say. So guys, as we get right into it, please endeavor to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Give the video a like and make sure to watch the video right up to the very end. Barcelona's transfer plans for the summer transfer window are starting to take a definitive shape as they look to build a strong enough squad to topple Akraivas Real Madrid next season. Having already closed the deals for Andres Christensen and Franquicia Arriva, the current priority for Barcelona is to complete the signing of ace goal scorer Robert Lewandowski from Bayern Munich. The German champions are putting up a strong fight, but the Catalans believe that a deal for around 40 million euros can be struck as Lewandowski has been pre um, pressuring the Bavarians with his public declaration of wanting to leave. Apart from Lewandowski, another name that is being discussed heavily at Barcelona as per Dario AS is that of Manchester City midfielder Bernardo Silva. The 27-year-old has long been on the radars for Barcelona and having come close to leaving the Etihad last summer, he is believed to be looking for a change of scenery again this year. The report adds that Silva's dream of playing for Barcelona, having been a supporter of the club since his childhood, at the same time, Barcelona would also welcome a move with open arms, but there will be a lot of complications involved in the deal going through. For starters, the Portuguese international is contracted with Man City until 2025 and has a market value of 80 million euros. The only way Barcelona can hope to match that is by selling one of their current superstars for a similar amount with Frankie de Jong a possibility. However, the Dutchman has made it very clear that he does not want to leave Barcelona, why the citizens have no desire to let um, Bernardo Silva go. So making the entire operation an extremely difficult one to pull off. As a result, Barca will look to focus on more realistic targets for now and try to close the Lewandowski deal before moving on to other achievable targets like um, Aspiricueta and Alonso. As for Silva, there may be much admiration between the player and the club. But at the moment, an operation will be too complicated to pull off. Then on to the next story of discussion. Pablo Torre has been talking about his impending move to Barcelona and has been revealing how he had a chat, a key chat with the manager Xavi and how Real Madrid also wanted to sign him. The midfielder will move from Racing in the summer and has already been linked to uh, liken to Pedri after an impressive season with Los Blancos. Torre helped Racing to the title, scoring 10 goals and 12 assists, and will now be hoping he can make an impact at the Camp Nou, he said. Javi called me per video call and I felt like I was <laughs> I was his own son. He mentioned other young stars as well and it seemed like he plays young stars in an important role in his project. The contract talks went very fast and I quickly signed. The 19-year-old also went on to talk how he was first offered more money by Real Madrid but preferred to move to Barcelona, he said. I spoke with Real Madrid, but in the end of my, my dream was to play and hopefully succeed at Barca, he explained. Madrid offered more money, but for me, the important thing was to play at the Camp Nou and above all, the sports project that it offered me. It was clear to me since they called me the first time, he said. So Pablo Torre has been signed for Barca B, but there are already suggestions Javi could take a look at him during preseason and then make a decision on where he will play next season. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe. If you haven't, please make sure to do so so you always stay in touch with the latest news to Barcelona here on Viva Barca. Until next time, bye-bye.